Hi everyone. I'm doing a night elf sort of look for Halloween. I've done one side of my face already and I just want to show you how I've done it. I've just cut out that sort of shape and all you do is uh, what I'm using is a Makeup Geek eyeliner. So it's sort of like the Maybelline tattoos, that sort of thing. So I'm going to stipple it on here and then I'm going to put a darker green eyeshadow stipple over the top. So I'm using the Makeup Geek. It's just a green. It's actually called Mystic. And I'm just going to use this brush just to dab it in and stipple it. Now I'm just getting green pigment so now I'm just putting that over the top of it so it sets. Okay. Now I'm just going to fill in around the eyes with the Makeup Geek eyeliner. Go right into the corner to the tear duct. And I've already marked up the top there. Okay, so next I'm going to just put a primer just on this part of the lid. And I've chosen to use, I have this sleek palette and I'm going to use this one which is a goldy sort of colour primer. Really you can choose any other colour that to go here. I did think of purple and I thought of black and then I thought mm, I like the bit of a bronzy goldy colour to it. So that's that. Now on the top of that I have another pigment which I'm going to use and it's an essence pigment. It's called Kiss the Frog. Kiss the Frog and it's one of these essence pigments. So it's a sort of a sort of a light green chartreuse it's a bit sparkly and I'm just going to dab it on to set that. It's gone on a bit brighter than the other one. I must have used the less, oh I know I actually um, patted it off but I don't know what I like now. I know what I did to make the difference in colour. I'll show you. The difference in colour was because I was going to make it black and I already had a tiny bit of black on my stippling brush before I picked up that other colour which is why it turned out like that. So I'm going to change the colour of both of them. Yep. That's better. And Um, and the black pigment I was using just then is another matte pigment called Magic Spell. So I've just used a combination of sort of like the black and green to contour just down here and under here a bit. CF100 which comes out like nearly white and that's it. It's, that's pretty much what it's like and I thought that was too light so then I went over it with a liquid foundation in LF133 it's one of those and then of course I put just a little bit of green stippled through there and then just um, dusted it all off so you can really with these pigments you can just change just a slight hue of green and then put the rest of that green through. Okay so hopefully that makes sense. So now what I need to do the bottom waterline with a green eyeliner and I'm just using this one. It's called Cobbett. It's a green that was matching sort of closely a little bit darker than the green I've got on. So I'm just going to um, line the bottom waterline 
just a little bit on the top waterline, not too much, just sort of halfway through. Okay. And then a little bit just right to the hairline and just halfway again. So I'm just adding glitter to the peaks of it's chartreuse and it's a Ben Nye product so it's really um, I don't know what you call it their, their products are their pigments are like real really rich and sort of shimmery I'm going to mix it with some lip stain so I've chosen the red lip stain it's um, I think this is called Greedy. Yeah, it is. It's an Urban Decay just lip stain upside down. But yeah, that's just it in a bowl like this. So I'm just, the bowl's already got the same colour in it. But um, so I'm just putting that little bit of stain in there. And just a little, I'm picking up a little bit of the green pigment like that. And I'm just going to mix them together. It's staining the lips red, but it's also giving it like a, a shimmery green look. Gold lip gloss, it's called Ultra Diamonds. Okay, and so the last thing to do, I forgot, is to put mascara on. And I would have, it's night time now, so I'm not going outside, but if I was wearing this out I would have gone and got some leaves and scattered them through my messy untidy hair because it's meant to be all scruffy like I've just been in the forest all day which is where this particular night elf has been So that is my finished look of a night elf. Okay, thanks.